I have a question for you guys. Which projector are you using right now, and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Anchor Nebula Apollo – Best for Most People The Anchor Nebula Apollo is the newer version of the Anchor Nebula capsule, which was one of the most successful projectors ever. It was well regarded by many as the best and was a solidly built projector. Now that we're in 2021, Anchor has released this new Anchor Nebula Apollo. It boasts a better 200 ANSI lumen brightness with a crisp display. You can also expect a few sizes from 20 to 100 inches with this projector. This is built for portability and is built very well to use on the go. It has a battery inside and doesn't need to be connected to a wall to play. The operating system on the projector is Android 7.1 and it has a playtime of 4 hours. It has multiple connectivity options. Thanks to the Wi-Fi connectivity, you can enjoy watching your favorite shows wirelessly. The Apollo uses a DLP-based light engine employing an LED light source that has a rated lifetime of 30,000 hours. At 200 ANSI lumens, the Apollo is of moderate brightness, matching the output of the Anchor Nebula Capsule 2 and the Kodak Luma 350, the latter being our editor's choice palm-top projector. Overall, the Nebula Apollo is an extremely impressive little projector. It packs a ton of features into a small, well-designed package. Number 4. Epson Epic Vision Mini EF12 – Best Smart Projector The Epson Epic Vision Mini EF12 is a smart TV masquerading as a portable projector. Its small form manages to contain a long-lived laser light source, Android TV, Google Play, store apps and games, and even good audio. One of the advantages lasers have over lamps is that most are meant to last the life of the projector, eliminating the cost of replacement lamps. The EF12's light source is rated at 20,000 hours of projecting at full power. It's paired with a 3-chip LCD or 3LCD design, which ensures that you won't see any rainbow artifacts and that color images will be as bright as you would expect from the lumen rating, which isn't always true for single-chip projectors. All this is packed into a matte black near cube that measures just 5.3 by 6.9 by 6.9 inches and weighs only 4.7 pounds. You can easily move it from room to room or install it permanently, including in a ceiling mount. However, you can also connect video sources such as Blu-ray players to the two HDMI 2.0 ports and it even offers CEC support to let you control multiple devices with one remote. If you're looking for a sub $1,000 1080p laser projector that's small enough to move easily from room to room and bright enough to give you a highly watchable 80-inch image with lights on, the Epson Epic Vision Mini E12 delivers it all. Number 3. LG HU80KA – Best High-End Projector The LG Electronics HU80KA is by far the most unique and original 4K projector to hit the market so far. It uses the 0.47-inch 4K UHD DLP chipset, but unlike competing units with the 0.47-inch chip, the HU80KA is driven by a laser phosphor light engine that improves its overall black levels and contrast performance, and promises 20,000 hours of life without concern for lamp replacements. There are a lot of ways to adjust lumen output on the HU80KA. First, you can place it horizontally so it projects directly at the screen like a light cannon, or you can stand it upright in its tower orientation, where the image is reflected 90 degrees outward from a mirror. This reduces lumen output by 4%. The HU80KA can be set up in a variety of ways. You can ceiling mount it and point it directly at the screen. You can stand it in front of the seating area and bounce the picture via the mirror onto the screen. You can even shoot the picture directly upward onto the ceiling if you want. One of the most impressive attributes of the HU80KA is the high contrast and saturation the projector delivers with standard 1080p SDR sources. Since there is and will continue to be a lot more of this content than 4K for quite a long time, excellent performance for this type of material is a key advantage. Number 2. ViewSonic M1 Plus – Best Runner-Up As you may know, ViewSonic is a trusted company when it comes to projectors. They've manufactured plenty of great projectors and one of them is the ViewSonic M1. If you're looking for a projector that can power spontaneous movie nights, this one might be the best option. It offers a pretty quick and easy experience for turning any dark place into a cinema. It can display media quickly from a thumb drive. I should also mention that this projector's support for Full HD 3D input and DPL link glasses is pretty unique among other projectors at this price range and class. The quickest input lag of the M1 is 33 milliseconds, which is good enough. 
I noticed that the sound of this projector is audible as a low-level hum with a bit of a buzz overtone. This means you don't have to worry about the fan noise. The company rates the LEDs at 30,000 hours in eco mode, and the LED light source is designed to last the life of the projector. It has a nice native resolution of 853 by 480 and its dual 3-watt speakers deliver a pretty good audio quality. It has many more great features that make this mini projector a very good one. Number 1. Anker Nebula Capsule 2 – Best Overall The new Nebula Capsule 2 projector is a portable can-shaped mini projector. It can create an HD 720p image that's up to 100 inches diagonally. But like all mini projectors, it doesn't get bright enough to work anywhere but in dark spaces. It has a speaker built into it so you don't have to fuss with Bluetooth. It also has Android TV built in so you don't have to fuss with HDMI or casting from your phone. I could see it fitting into people's bags as a portable projector that ticks a lot of boxes. Anker's predecessor to the Nebula Capsule 2 was our pick for the best mini projector last summer. This new one is so much better that it's a shame that it costs so much. It's a great little gadget. We love mini projectors. With a regular projector, you do all of that fiddling ahead of time. You create a permanent setup somewhere in your home over a weekend or three so that using your projector is as simple as turning on a traditional TV. With a portable mini projector, you face those challenges pretty much every time you want to use it. The whole premise of the Capsule 2 is that it reduces the number of things you have to fiddle with. It's almost entirely successful in that, with a few unforced errors that are annoying but don't ruin the experience. Definitely one of the best in the market. Buying Guide Brightness While throw ratio is very important, brightness is the most important specification to get right, and this is where ambient light fits in. If the image isn't bright enough to be seen clearly, all other considerations fly out the window. Getting enough light out of a projector is often the biggest challenge, but remember, it's nearly impossible to get a projector that is too bright. If a projector is ever too bright, you can always turn down the brightness. But making a projector that is too dim brighter? <laughs> Good luck. Resolution Resolution matters, but perhaps less than you might think. Most projectors these days are at least XGA, 1024 x 768 resolution, a 4 to 3 aspect ratio format that has been the long-time staple for giving PowerPoint presentations. A few entry-level models are still SVGA, 800 by 600, and pocket projectors sometimes have funky low native resolutions that the manufacturers are coy about admitting. Because of high-definition video, increasingly widescreen formats starting at WXGA, 1280 by 800, and 720p are supplanting the legacy 4 to 3 standards. Personally, I would not recommend going lower than XGA. At SVGA and lower resolutions, pixelation in the image will be very apparent. Space When selecting a short-throw projector, first figure out how much space you'll have between the projector itself and the screen. Standard short-throw devices require about 3 to 8 feet of space to produce a 100-inch or larger image, while UST projectors need anywhere from inches to 3 to 4 feet. Wireless Video Wireless video is one of the most asked-for inputs. Some projectors have it, usually in the form of an optional USB dongle, but because the video generally must be compressed and due to the presence of so many competing wireless devices, especially wireless routers, the wireless interface on many projectors is recommended only for PowerPoint, photos or showing relatively static computer graphics, not for full frame.